G'day and namaste. What a wonderful coincidence it is of our history that the 26th of January, Australia Day is India's Republic Day, a national day shared between friends. Of course, Australia and India share more than our national day. We pursue the same ideals, the ideals of democracy, of freedom, of liberty, diversity, enterprise, opportunity, building a better world based on these important principles. Our history is long and our connections are many. And with each year, we become even closer. The global pandemic has not divided us, but has made us appreciate these shared ideals even more. Six months ago, my good friend Prime Minister Modi and I signed a comprehensive strategic partnership, a major step forward for our trade and investment, defence and scientific partnerships. It speaks to our trust in each other, our common interests and our common values. And we continue to nurture deep people-to-people -people ties, the threads that bind us together. One of the things we celebrate on Australia Day is our diversity. Today, there are more Australians with Indian ancestry than ever before. Great citizens, great neighbours, adding another dimension to our shared Australian story. This is a great thing for Australia and a great thing for our relationship. Over a century ago, one of Australia's earliest Prime Ministers, Alfred Deakin, said of our relationship with India, the distance which separates us is being steadily diminished year by year. More than 100 years later, that's still true. And Deakin didn't count on a pandemic though. And because of that, this past year, the free flow of peoples between our two countries is not what it has traditionally been. But I want to assure you, Australia is looking forward to welcoming more of our Indian friends and family and students and residents back to our shores when we get to the other side of this pandemic. So today, we celebrate our country and we send our best wishes to one of our truest friends. Happy Australia Day and Sabo Logoko. Happy Republic Day. Authorised by S. Morrison, Liberal Party Canberra.